Hey, yes. do you love to spice up your games using a little bit of randomness here and there? Yes, I do, yes. 130. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I was still typing in your range values. I suppose so. Stop it! Right now! What? I'll show you how to go from typing in your values to sliding them in like a real cool guy. So guys, let's help our friend with this abomination and make it a little bit easier, a little bit nicer to tweak around with. So let's go to my GitHub page where we can see that this package is actually quite easy to install and quite easy to use. So that is perfect. So let's follow this guide and install the package. So let's copy this link and go into Unity. Go to Window, Package Manager, and let's click the plus sign and add package from Git URL. If you don't have this option, it's probably because you don't have the Unity 2019.3 version or higher than that. So make sure you go install that or you can install this package using the .unity package in the git repository. I'll put a little guide in the description on how to install this package that way. So let's click add package from git URL and paste in the link and click add. So let's let Unity do its thing. And we can import an example scene if we want to do that, which is very cool actually. I used an obscene amount of time to add that. But anyways, as you can see down here in the packages folder, there should be a simple min-max slider folder. And we don't have to touch anything in here to use it. We just have to go into the script that we wanted to help our friend with and open it up. And to be able to access this range slider attribute, we have to type in using gd for creature devs dot min max slider. And now we can use that uh, range slider attribute. So let's go down to the vectors that we want to add this range attribute to. So let's type in min max slider and then define what we want the minimum value to be and the maximum value to be. So let's type in 0 to 300. And I will just add this min max slider attribute to the rest of these dudes. All right, so let's go back into Unity and see what it looks like. Very nice. Now we can tweak these values and tweak them real good. So let's try to play and tweak the splatter of this melon. So let's see how it looks like. It looks like uh, nothing is happening. So let's tweak this. Wow. Are you guys seeing this? This is amazing. <laughs> Maybe the mark is a little bit too large. So let's turn that down. Yes. Look at this. And maybe let's turn down the the force at which the particles are dispensed. Very cool. Very nice. I think our friend will be very pleased with this. So let's ask him. Hey, uh, what do you think of this? Ooh, yes, it's very nice. Very handy. Mm, thank you. All right, perfect. Thank you guys for watching. And please uh, subscribe.